<laughs> Hi everyone. So when your mask has dried, your mask stroke prosthetic, it will look like this. And I've cut out a little mouth hole there and I've actually cut out a nose hole there too underneath the teeth so when I've got it on I'll be able to breathe because if I press it right against my face I need to be able to breathe then if I've got this here this means I can talk I'll be able to talk with it on um, and yeah to pop myself in the eye with something um, I've only cut out two little slits for the eyes and I like the effect of that um, but at the same time I can, as you can see, you can just about see my eyeballs I can see through this so even though they're only tiny little slits it does work and it's going to look like that and all you do is, you, it depends which way you want to apply it you can apply it, you can use it as a mask and just fasten some elastic to hold it in place you could probably do with a piece of elastic goes around about there and a piece that will go around about there or add two pieces um, but I'm going to stick it on as a prosthetic so that's what it's going to look like okay first of all I put cling film around my head to protect my hair and then I added a layer of latex on my forehead, down my nose and around my mouth and that's how I stuck the mask to my face as you can see I'm just pressing the mask into place like so then I took a cotton bud and some latex and used a thin layer of that to stick the edges down this is not a very heavy prosthetic so I didn't need a lot of um, latex then I used stri strips of tissue paper and latex around the edges just to blend those edges in a bit more and also make the mask cover a bit more of my face so that basically all the bits of my face that would be stuck out from the hood of my hoodie would be covered with the mask stroke prosthetic I used a dark grey face paint first of all to get rid of the white of the tissue paper and then blended in different shades of grey and white just dabbing them here and there and a bit of black too then using a tissue to dab off any excess paint and I kept working on that with white and grey of different shades until I was happy with how it blended in with the mask so that's just me working on that there and I kept going around until I was happy with it all blended in then I added a little bit more white just to make it lighter because I found the bit was darker than the mask around the front then I took a black eyeshadow because I thought the mask looked a bit flat and I used that to go all the way around the mouth and in the eye sockets a little bit just to make the mask look a bit more 3D and make that mouth area stick out a little bit more I also used the black eyeshadow in the temples and on my forehead there are actually two sort of horn stumps on the mask and I used the black eyeshadow to go around those and then I used a light grey face paint to go around the highlights of my nose, the, my eye, the eyes and on the horns to make those stand out a little bit more then when I was happy with that I then added some fake scab blood to the teeth Just die. <laughs> I have successfully scared my first born child. You made me jump. <laughs> it wasn't really scaring, it was just making me jump. I made my first born jump. <laughs> 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 <laughs>